Carolina's Craft and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below because I post videos three times a week and you guys don't want to miss any of these videos because... I mean, I may be biased here, but I think they're really good. Today's video is actually going to be a St. Patrick's Day Parfait recipe. This is such an amazing recipe, and you guys seriously need to try it. It requires, like, no skill at all. It's not really too much cooking. It's just heating something up on the stove. But, oh my gosh, this recipe is amazing. And you guys don't have to color it green if you guys don't want to. I just did that for St. Patrick's Day. But, I mean, really, you could use this recipe for any event you guys have going on. If you guys have some friends coming over, this is also perfect for a sleepover. Like, it's really so good. When I made this, it was gone within an hour. My mom came home. My dad came home. I ate one. I gave my employee one. My dog even liked it. And then when my boyfriend came over, he ate one. And then they were all gone. Like, it was gone so, so, so fast. And I just wanted another one. I was like, no, I don't have any more. <laughs> they were really so, so, so amazingly delicious. Like, I really can't tell you enough good things about it. You guys are just going to have to try the recipe out for yourself to see how amazing it is. So now let's just get into the video and I'll show you guys how to make this amazingly delicious parfait. You're first going to start off by turning on your stove and adding one cup of water. Just make your jello according to your package directions, and I'm using the lemon jello. Once the water starts to boil, I'm adding in the lemon jello and some green food coloring for St. Patrick's Day, but if you could also find lime jello, then you could totally do that. And I'm adding in one cup of cold water and just mixing that all together. Then I'm turning off the stove here, and I'm gonna put aside one third cup of this jello mixture. You guys will see exactly why later, but you may wanna put aside a little bit more. I'm putting my jello mixture aside and taking out a cupcake tin. You guys will see exactly why. I'm filling up my little cups with some jello mixture and I'm adding it into the cupcake tin. However, if you have a smaller cup, these will work great. They should stay. But if you don't, I'm just adding in a binder clip on, into the cupcake tin and just sitting the cups on top of it. And this kind of keeps it on a slant so you're going to get that cool effect later when they set. You then want to put that all in the refrigerator and wait for it to set. Mine took about a few hours. In the meantime, you're going to take out some Cool Whip and you're going to need one cup of Cool Whip. You're going to add the Cool Whip into the one third cup of Jello mixture you set aside earlier and you're just going to mix it all together. It's also going to give this nice light green color so there'll be some contrast with the other jello part and this is like the parfait part like the cream it tastes so good and you want to refrigerate that as well until your jello is set once your jello has hardened it should have hardened like on a slant which looks really pretty you're also going to take out your cool whip mixture and add in the cool whip into each cup you can fill it as much or as little as you want, but I will tell you that my whipped cream mixture did not fill all of my cups. It only filled about three. And then I'm also adding on some edible accents on top. I did some little shamrocks, so I showed you guys the two that didn't get filled, but they are on a slant, and then the other three that look super pretty with their shamrock decoration. Okay, seriously guys, tell me that that parfait did not look good. If you tell me it did not look good, I'm still not going to believe you. I don't know where I was going with that thought. I think the parfaits look amazing. They taste amazing. They really are so delicious. If you guys are not doing this for St. Patrick's Day, you guys don't have to add on the clovers like I did on top. I did edi edible shamrocks on top. So I made it look festive and everything and it was still all edible. But if you guys are doing it for another occasion, you guys don't even need to decorate the top. Like just the slant in the jello is amazing enough. Like that just looks so cool already. But if you guys just wanted to, you guys could add on a little bit of sprinkles. You could add on another little dollop of Cool Whip on top. And it's going to taste amazing, guys. You guys seriously are going to love this. Definitely try it out because you guys have no idea what you're missing out on. Like, it is so good. Even my mom, when she ate it, she was like, wow, this is so good. You need to make this more often. So I'm going to buy some more Jello, some more flavored Jello. I think I want to try raspberry also and the lime if I could find it, which is what I wanted to do in this video. But the lemon ended up tasting so good and my boyfriend actually thought it was lime so maybe the lime and the lemon taste similar I have no idea I really just want to make these ahead of time and keep them in the fridge and have them as a snack whenever I need a little bit of sweetness in my life and a little bit of goodness so I hope you guys enjoyed this video again thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe down below if you haven't done so already and I'll see you guys next time in my next video see you later bye